in the summer, we saw the release of Thor Love and Thunder. Who wants to talk about I Thor Love and Thunder? I still stand by this is a good movie. You're just mean. <laughs> I, I am something. <laughs> is that, I mean, it's basically the old man, get off my lawn. Yes, yeah. that's uh, true. <laughs> jokes were funnier when I was younger. <laughs> Memes from 2013 don't belong in 2002 or whatever year that movie came out in. I mean, at least people talk about it. Yeah. Uh, like, in yeah. Some other movies. That's that's something. Yeah, um, I know, I know. The, the screaming goats keep it relevant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, they were popular on TikTok at the time. It's fine. Uh, like, it's old is new again. Looking the... at Thor: Love and Thunder, honestly, I think my biggest gripe is the runtime. I think it's too it's too short. Too yeah. short. Like had had it had another like twenty minutes to a half hour, you can make some of these scenes just last a little longer. Like mm-hmm. when they're just talking about the consequences and everything and establishing the bigger ideas in the universe, there's almost this like it's too quippy and going by too fast nature where I'm like just slow it down just a little. Yeah, like, yeah, I can I can understand it going too fast because like one of the a really good things that I do like about Love and Thunder is where they establish the multiple pantheons yeah, in, in the yep. universe. Yeah. And even though she didn't get like a, a speaking role, we did see the Panther goddess in that arena. Bast oh, is there. Bast. Uh-huh. So yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, that was great. I thought introducing Hercules finally was awesome. Oh yeah. Like Yeah, yeah. That was great. See, I I enjoy the movie. Is it my favorite? Nah. Yeah. Right. That's Do I think at. he went too far after Ragnarok? No, I think yeah. he's exactly on par with Ragnarok. People who just not clocked on that well, person. Well, they, uh, what I think it is is that people like assumed it was gonna be, um, I guess, similar to uh, Aaron's run from, uh, you know, Thor, God of Thunder, where it was this, you know, you had like four or five issues of them, just you know beating the crap out of each other and you having this real um money shots of 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 the battle happening and then this on this time travel element to it but we, we essentially wasn't it wasn't that i think that's what people it's fine we, we we got a better money shot than aaron could ever make <laughs> we got eternity right <laughs> this movie is good based on the fact that we actually have eternity in the mcu and i will def- i would die on that hill because you watch, this movie's going to come back around in a massive way and people aren't ready for it. Oh. You don't just drop <laughs> eternity in a movie like this and they never come back to it. Like, nah, nah. I sure do hope they would. <laughs> 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 no, actually, I like the character of Eternity. I like that idea, and that's a high concept to tackle. So, mm. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to tackle that, especially when you get to, like, Secret Wars and stuff. You know, like, bro, you should probably talk about this yeah. massive power being over here that's, like, just kind of waiting, <laughs> you know. It's, it's just, oh, who's that guy? Oh, it's Eternity. Like we, we opened that door a long time ago. Yeah, yeah that's a, <laughs> we live in that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can understand you saying that because people still forget that um, we've seen a bunch of watchers and people still forget that you know. Oh, that's they're true. In, yeah, in, they're in the MCU. They're in the MCU. Yeah. Huh. Well, bring all that around for Secret Wars. May pile on all the crazy characters like the Living Tribunal, who we've seen cameos of at least like what three times now. If that man is not in Secret Wars, uh, what the hell are they waiting for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like there's a one, there's one point you have to use him. It's Secret Wars. I don't care how much you change in the story. You need the Tribunal in that movie. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. That's necessary. Um. Okay, so after Thor: Love and Thunder, we had "I Am Groot." I did not watch. I'm gonna this. be honest. I watched an episode. <laughs> yep, that was it. <laughs> I and it's not even the fact that it was bad. I I got confused to whether it's dropped all at once or if it was a weekly thing. I didn't find out. It's all at once, but it's separate. Like it's not all under one icon. Why? Each episode has got its own separate icon, yeah. Why? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No idea. Yeah, it's just one of those weird things where I, you know, I saw it, I put out, put it off, and I basically just forgot about Iron Groot. It's not yeah. like, uh, I'll probably watch it at some point, and it's just like, um, 
not to say anything about it, it's you know quality or content. It's just it's one of those things where it's like uh, I have other things to do at that point, and I'll get back to it when I can. <laughs> it's just like looking at it and trying to cut down my time. It's like, is this going to be important? No. Okay, yeah. then I don't need to watch it. Like it's it, that's kind of how it came to me, and I was like, uh. Eh. And I knew what was up when my wife, who loves Groot, she was like, "We don't need to watch this, do we?" I was like, "Nope, good. If you don't want to watch it, I don't want to watch it. We're good." So like, it's literally the entire thing is what does Groot get up to when he's not on screen? <laughs> the that's <pushy> really... effect. <laughs> when yeah, Groot is not five around. Minutes of what, like five minutes of what, what is Groot doing at this exact moment in time? Yeah, uh, you know, it wasn't even like the the one I watched was even bad. It was actually quite funny, but mm. it's. I just I forget it exists. That's unfortunate. But um, hey, something that we're not forgetting exists because people would not stop talking about it because apparently this came out, literally kicked your dog and burned your house down. She Hulk attorney at law. My God, I it was good. It was good. It was good. Great show. It was good to great, if not some of the best MCU at certain moments. And I will stand by that. Like, I, if we can just remove all the toxic side of, ah, women, women, they're pushing well, it's, women. It's such a good show. It's, like, it's, it's not even, it's not even that. It's, it's this weird, I guess it's just this weird thing to where certain people if it's you know if it's not if it's not into your interest or it's not to your liking you don't have to watch it it doesn't mean yeah. that it's bad because for all intents and purposes it's not bad and then there's another side saying it's not comic accurate and then there's people saying it's pretty comic accurate and nobody oh, yeah, knows for how how she interacts and talks to people and then it's all well, it's just bad and like no it's just like you don't like it and that's okay but you can't say that it's genuinely bad and it's not well, comic accurate one of the funniest things i saw in regard to this entire thing every week people saying this is the worst episode i hate it what i'm not gonna watch this i'm watching this for matt murdoch only knowing that they're gonna come into it going i hate what they did to matt yeah. like it was like yeah you could you could not have predicted the reaction from when the show was dropping the first trailer to the end of it any better it was like perfectly spelled out you knew the exact discourse when it was gonna hit and well, that's why they lent into it right like you know yeah. it wasn't a case of they predicted the reaction to anything and that's why i took the piss in the show it's it's just pattern recognition you yep. know yeah. what's going to happen and what's going to be but said because it, yeah, it's, it's the same thing for everything it, that's not a white guy yeah, yeah it's like essentially is that this is they knew this is the reaction which was going to happen with that particular episode so they could ride around it and it was actually pretty funny once they uh -huh. called it out yeah it's i mean I thought the show also tackled the character of She-Hulk just about as perfect as you could and her place in the Marvel world and how people would react. I mean, they knew that to toxicity was coming so well mm -hmm. that they could write it into the show. It it's, was, like it's literally the plot. Yeah, it's so genius. I mean, I get why people don't like it. But then there are those people that are level-headed that are like, hey, I've picked up a Marvel comic and... Yeah, check it out. This is actually how She-Hulk is. And again, like Miss Marvel or Thor or whatever, it doesn't have to be for you. Not everything is meant for everybody. People, mm. for some reason, people have convinced themselves that if it's in the MCU, it has to be for everybody. And that's not the case. Like, that's literally not the case for everything. Like, you can pick and choose what you want to watch. So, it's, I, I thought it was a stellar show. Like, yeah, do I have problems with it? Of course I do. But, the positives, in my opinion, outweigh the negatives on She-Hulk like tenfold. So, it's. So I think outside of a few dodgy shots, I haven't. I can't even think of many problems I have with the show. Mm. Oh wait, you don't have a problem with She-Hulk twerking? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you rather, no. rather have a, rather have a greasy, oiled up man do it. Instead, because it's a lot better at that point. Having oh, 100%, been out, yeah, that's that's the yeah. only way it can't be woke, like not woke, no. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Like same with I mean, I did have a couple issues with it, but they were like negligible because it's yeah. really, a really fun show. And like the only other thing I just didn't uh, thing I didn't understand is like, you know, why isn't the Hulk in this series? Why is he Professor Hulk? And I was like, I kind of like this evolution of of his character. Of course, he's gonna have his belts with anger that we did see in the show and he's still working on it mm -hmm. 
but yeah, we, people are too up in arms and worried about that. They're never going to get their Hulk in, I guess, action sequences again, since of how he how he acts, and it's like it's just the nature of what what the story they're going to tell. And one of the things I did get hung up about is the the CGA uh, CGA on uh, Hulk's son. I was yeah. like, when they do, when I, they I do was just thinking about it. Yeah, so when they do your hair, man. man. Dude, Scar <laughs> so, Someone bad. sat there and made a choice. Yeah. That was the result. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how did we get here? Like, sure, if Stan Lee in that cameo was the barber on Sakaar, I can let it go. But right now, <laughs> that is a hairline no one should have. That's oh. horrendous. Yeah, because I thought he was going to have like this wild man look or, or a buzz cut, but I don't know what they did to his hair. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. He just doesn't want to be there. He doesn't know anyone on this planet. He's awkward. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, we'll see the return of all of these characters, so I'm excited to see more of yeah. She-Hulk. Um, well, apparently they're not doing Young Avengers, so will we see the return oh, of these yes, characters? Oh, yes, yes, of knows? course. <laughs> all right, Papa Kevin, standing <laughs> literally with a picture of Black Widow shooting behind him, going, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. We see you, Kev. <laughs> we see you. It's not like Hayley Steinfeld's been over there being like, yeah, I read Young Avengers to get ready for this role. It's like, of course you did. Yeah. Of course you did. Yeah. It's just going to take <laughs> you know, a little longer. A little longer. Yeah. But um, 